I think it's a lot about parents and children. A son and his mother and his father. You know, to see a father not be able to love his son the way the son wants to be loved. What our parents accept in us and what they don't accept and what they know and what they don't know and what they pretend they don't know but on some level they do. You suddenly realize that the mother has always known sort of about the son's sexuality. And the love between these two men who have fallen in love with each other. It's about the messiness of life, the randomness of life. It's an incredible conversation about religion and sexuality that is mainstream. To see a son hide from a father the essence of himself is so huge and so big. But you suddenly realize that she's held this secret, she's had this, and has loved her son regardless. How we deal with and, and cope with unexpected events, sudden loss. It's about all of the differences in us and how we must live together. I go to the theater a lot. And I see shows a few times a week, but every once in a while you see something that really, really, really excites you and you walk out of the theater completely elated. We had hardly heard anything about it. We were blown away. We loved it. I was so, so uh, moved by the story because I was so moved by the performances. I've never had this experience where I, I was so moved by a play and so so taken and so invested. I really couldn't speak after I saw the play. I was really, um, uh, just, it was very powerful for me. The great genius of the play is it's able to touch on so many meaningful, meaningful uh, aspects of, of our lives without ever getting preaching because it's so damn funny. You know, it's just, it's a great play. <laughs>